I'm Jim Kramer, and welcome to my world. You need to get in the game. Fools are going to go out of business, and he's nuts. They're nuts. They know nothing. I always like to say there's a bull market somewhere. And I promise Mad you money. Just you can't afford to miss it. Hey, I'm Kramer. Welcome to Mad Money. Welcome to Kramerica. Other people trying to make some friends. I'm trying to help you make some money. My job, I'm trying to entertain you through some, and do some educating and some coaching. Get you to be better at handling your own money, personal finance. Call me, 1-800-743-CNBC. Okay, let's get something straight. For everybody out there who thought the State of the Union speech last night was not so hot or worse, that it was hurtful for the market, let me just ask you, what the heck do you want this president to say? Should he have started with, ladies and gentlemen, I think the Dow should blow right through 12,000 on its way to 14,000, and the S&P is meaningfully undervalued, and I would take advantage of the decline in the material stocks to pick up some terrific bargains. Bargains so great that I am sure people on both sides of the aisle would embrace them with limit orders, please. There. Uh, is that what you expected? Is that what you want the president to be? Is that what you think he should have said last night on a day where the averages reacted positively? Uh, Dow up 8, uh, S&P up 0.42%, NASDAQ up 0.74? Wait a second. No. no. I watched the State of the Union speech last night with one eye on Twitter at Jim Cramer, that incredibly brilliant site, seeking instant reaction from people about what they thought. The comments ranged from being humorous, or actually totally unhumorous, to wiseacre skepticism deep cynicism. That is not how I felt. Now, you know that I do not opine about politics in the show. You care less. I only care about one thing, coaching you as an investor, teaching you about the market, helping you to try to make money. I'm not a political pundit. I'm not a sartorial critic, a left or right wing ideologue. I live in a simple world. If it can make you money legally, it's good. If it loses you money, it's bad. So strictly using the prism that people expect from me, I thought the speech was terrific, just terrific, especially compared to one, what I expected, and two, what I would have expected a year or two years ago. Just think about it for a second. It would have been inconceivable to expect or even imagine the previous iteration of this president mentioning the stock market's resurgence as an e a sign of economic health. He did it right at the top of last, night, last night's speech. I, I, I was like, did he say it? Uh, I, I thought it might be a throwaway line. It turned out to be anything but. This was a speech about the need to harness private business to become more competitive. So we can have, in the words of the fabulous Ford CEO, Alan Mulally, profitable growth for all, PGA. What do you talk about? Innovation, engineering, education, competitiveness, the need for technological superiority. These were the words you heard in various guises over and over again. It was a speech about how we beat the Russians in the Cold War, and now we're going to beat the Chinese in the business war, out-innovating them, outgrowing them. What, what's not to like? Honestly, I thought it was remarkable. This was not a rant about how the People's Republic of China violates civil rights. It was not about social justice, not here or there or anywhere, uh, save for the uh, hat tip to the uh, revolution in uh, Tunisia. It was not about expensive health care for all or about income redistribution. No, we got a new emphasis. Not only does Obama now care about your 401k, I think he wants it to go higher. Obama said he supported the Bush tax cuts as his own, but recognized they can't stay permanently. Hey, he, guess what? No one, including President Bush, thought they would ever be permanent. He seemed to recognize more intuitively than I give him credit for that the average American doesn't just want to get by. The average American wants to make money, maybe a lot of money, do well. We're an aspirational country. That's a relief. It's a relief from the redistribution as president I was afraid we we're going to see. He even criticized his own health care plan, for heaven's sake. No ideologue. Obama's a pragmatist. Last night we found out that this president is not a social democrat, he's a capitalist democrat. So capitalist that he had a Republican president, uh, had a Republican president, honestly, given this speech, I think that there would have been outraged left-wing Democrats clamoring for more help for the downtrodden or for bailing out city and state workers' pensions, while, of course, crushing municipal bondholders. I'm not kidding. Now, when I entered some of these thoughts on Twitter, I was kind of blown away by the sarcasm I received in reaction, rye posts, not by the majority, but some quarters. The critics think Obama is simply an irredeemable socialist or that I drank some sort of communist Kool-Aid, a reference I always pay close attention to and love because I actually covered the original Jim Jones death by Kool-Aid franchise as a homicide reporter back in the 70s. I got oh. Kool-Aid street cred. You got to remember, though, where my observations about this president come from, my track record on the guy. It's not like I've been a number one fan. 
Two years ago, I chastised Obama for not focusing enough on creating jobs and working with business instead of attacking business and making it the bad guy. Now it's not the time for profits. Remember with the bankers as public enemy number one? I called that Pino. I was extremely critical that this president didn't address the economy first in a comprehensive way through, uh, through putting money directly into the hands of the people the way the Chicoms did uh, rather than the reckless, expensive, non shovel ready stimulus we already got. You know, I mean, that's what we got. I, 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 I said if you're going to do stimulus, let it be big commercial construction projects that can generate multiplier of effects, not payments to municipal and state governments, cronies, whatever. In fact, I called his plan on national TV, no less. Yeah, the greatest wealth destruction of our time. Uh, and predicted a sharp fall in stocks. Uh, well, we got that. But that's history. Come on, let's move on. Think forward, will you? Whatever you think of the president, it was a bullish speech, and it helped, and it will continue to help the overall tone of the market. No, it wasn't a speech with individual stock takeaways. I will recommend no particular equity because of Obama's talk last night. No, it's the broader market that matters. It was what I call a multiple enhancing speech, a so-called P.E. expander, meaning that it makes us willing to pay more for stocks. Big difference from the P.E. multiple contractor angle that predominated when Nancy Pelosi sat behind the president for the previous two years. What a difference a seating chart makes. More powerful than a stock chart, even a reverse head and shoulders. The bottom line, as someone whose own, who's only priority is helping you to try to make money in stocks, I thought the State of the Union last night was pitch perfect. Sure, it would have been great if he had ended in conclusion by saying, American people, I am liking that Qualcomm upside surprise. I think it's going to 60. Halliburton's got another five easy points. I'm taking my estimates for the S&P 500 up 15%. I want you to buy, buy, buy. But sorry, that's the state of Primerica, not the state of the union. Indian Florida, Linda! A sunny Florida booyah to you, Jim. Well, I got some bad weather here, sunshine, but go ahead, brighten my day, will you? You guys are getting hammered. Listen, last night the president talked about alternative energy for just about everything. Do you think that'll help me get out of the house of paying with fuel systems if we go with natural gas-powered no, cars? No, no, no. Uh, and it was, uh, he broadly wants things to be a little bit better, but I did not hear anything that would encourage me for fuel systems. The natural gas complex was up today, the oil complex was up, and that's fine. Some people felt, how could oil go up, given the fact that the president did, uh, said get rid of the tax crowd, you know, the tax uh, breaks for oil. But every president says that. That's just part of, like, the, you know, I would say if I was president, that's just what you do when you're president. Now, I, I just saw, I liked energy complex going up. It's a little cold in the country. You just don't realize it because you're in Sunshineville. Citrus, Steve in California. Steven. Hey, sunny California. Booyah, TJ. Another guy with better weather. Booyah. What's on your mind? Well, I got two separate questions. The first question, uh, back in March of last year, I invested in UNH, United Healthcare. Mm -hmm. uh, because after the passage of Obamacare, a lot of the healthcare insurance providers took big hits. And I invested kind of based on its relative valuation and revenue growth year over year. And, and I'm wondering now, in the, after the State of the Union, where do you kind of see the healthcare insurance providers going from here? Ever since that March 2010 level, they've gone up about. 30 to 40 percent of the sector. They're not whole. done. These stocks were se severely depressed. Uh, I, UNH is terrific. Uh, WellPoint, WLP, Stephanie Link, Research Director of ActionLearnsPlus.com, subscription service. She and I, that's the charitable trust that I talk about. We have big position in WellPoint. Feel really, really terrific about it. These stocks are cheap. Their multiples are low. And the move is probably in the fifth inning. They'll already switch to the baseball metaphor because my team is hopelessly licking its wounds when it comes to football. What did last night's State of the Union say? about business it said the right stuff that's what you know i would have loved it if he had said you know what ibm still has 200 dollars in it or maybe he would have recommend netflix you know saying hey listen the bears are wrong but instead what he said was america's going to be great again including business hey good enough for me stay with kramer